mid fifties. Also, uh, I used to get uh, late at night. Um, AM radio would. There were these big towers that had a heavy signal that, uh, when the sun went down, they became stronger. It was a show out of N Nashville that uh, was WLAC, and you could hear artists like Howling Wolf and Muddy Waters and Lonesome Sundown and John Lee Hooker, and these these artists were just mind-boggling. depth of, uh, of history, of tradition. Um, fortunately, a lot of the great artists uh, of, of the blues have, you know, were recorded early on, and so you can get to hear every style and every, you know, stage it's gone through. When I was seven, which was uh, 1949, uh, my father took, took me to hear Big Bill Brunzi at a, a little church in New York. And before I hit my teens, I was uh, buying records that, you know, Sonny Terry, Brownie McGee, Josh White, Leon Bibb. Um, uh, I don't want to forget any of that. I mean, there were so many.
it's, it's, you know, it really, it, it, it has to do with how much you love the, the mu music and how good you can play, you know, and uh, if, if it's in you to do it, you're going to find a way to do it. And I don't care if you're white or black or uh, oriental or whatever, you know, I hate racial terminology because we're all hu human beings. We all have ears and minds and... And when you hear the blues done right, you know, it's very satisfying and it doesn't matter where you're from. It's a tradition. It's a, um, it's a thing that if you get into it, it's, you know, you, you become part of the tradition, which is a very uh, appealing thing to young people and to uh, anybody, I guess. But um, it's very dynamic. to do is hear hear him sing and play and he was just absolutely dynamic i think he was um perhaps the synthesis of his era he picked up on the styles of artists from other parts of the u.s and uh, uh came up with his own style and his own i mean you can hear you, you can hear his influences but but um what he came out with in his personal dynamics were just unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be raining. 
I've worked as a solo, and to me, the, the, the country blues is the most, uh, um, it's where it all came from, and I, I, I've always felt most connected to that. I worked shows with um, Roosevelt Sykes and John Lee Hooker, with Lightning Hopkins, um, in 1962 and three, around that era, uh, a lot of the originators of the blues were being rediscovered, and I got to be on shows with Sunhouse and Bucka White and Mississippi John Hurt and Fred McDowell, and I could just go on and on. Awesome. Skip James, and uh, so I got a taste of you know these guys who had actually made it happen. I was on shows with Furry Lewis and Sleepy John Estes and and you know these are guys who I just you know idolized and it was very heady. <laughs> Let's go. 